welcome to the wine testing for the Bosio Moscato Dusty. I'm Nicola Biscardo, your Italian wine ambassador, and uh, Bosio family is one of the winery that I'm proud to have in our portfolio. If you click on the Moscato uh, Dusty on uh, Bosio Winery up in Piedmont, you will learn everything about this wine. It's made by one of my uh, dearest friends. His name is Luca Bosio, very young kid that is taking over the winery now, uh, getting the, the tradition from his father, and uh, very well talented uh, wine, young winemaker that gives his best expression with his Moscato Dusty. The Bosio family has a very long tradition in the Moscato from Asti Piedmont. They have over 600 acres of vineyard of Moscato, so they are the leader of family-owned Moscato production. I beg your pardon for those gusts of wind that are coming through, because we are not in Pirmo right now, we are in my property in Toscany called Villa Ortaglia, and at this time of the day the wind is really blowing in my vineyards, and it's one of the characteristics of this spot, which is very good for my wine, but it's kind of noisy for this wine tasting. I hope that Luca will not mind this little noise. Okay, guys, let's let's taste this wine. Why Moscato Dusty? Well, Moscato Dusty come from a land, Piedmont, which is a land of big, full body, amazing, super elegant red wine. Barolo, Barbaresco, Gattinara, uh, Barbera, Dolcetto, Nebbiolo, all big, full body red wines. Well, the Moscato is a white grape, white aromatic grape, that proudly represent this very famous land of Piedmont all over the world. As a matter of fact, in uh, 2010, uh, the Moscato Dusty was the fastest growing var category of wine in the United States, which I'm very, very happy about it. Be careful when you buy Moscato because there are some that are very very commercial what you want are very small boutique family owned properties that you know that the wine is going to be genuine it's going to be good and it's going to be fun one of the characteristics of the Moscato grape is the fact that the um, the Moscato grape keeps the flavor in the juice more than in the skin this is extremely interesting because what we appreciate in this wine is the freshness. So when they make the wine, they harvest the wine in September or late, late August, beginning of September, they harvest the grape, but they squeeze them and they make a lot of juice, but they don't make the wine. They keep the, the juice, juice, they keep the juice, grape juice. They put it in big stainless steel tank and they fermented only when is the time to sell the wine. By doing this, they have the freshest flavor that the Moscato grape can deliver. So that's why it's so important to have a family-owned product. Because if you have a big commercial fake label just made for the US market, for example, when they purchase it, they order a million bottle, they're gonna ferment it, stick a label and sell it. If it takes six months, you're gonna have a six months old wine. If it takes a year, you have a year old wine. When it comes to Bosio family, for the uh, Nicola Biscardo selection, for the Conexport selection, we only ship in the United States what fermented two or three weeks max before the departure. So the wine that you will buy in May ferments in April. That ensures that our Moscato is always the freshest Moscato in the market. I love to call the Moscato the swimming pool wine because it's, it's a candy bar. It's actually very lovely and very, very floral. It's just having a bouquet of flower from jasmine to uh, the, the golden apple to uh, uh, you have even some a little rosemary also. White peaches, apricot, honey, but it's not overly sweet. It's very, my, it's very moderated sweetness here on the tip of my tongue. And I don't want to say the finish dry because it's definitely not dry, but 
it's not coiling it's not syrupy it's actually lovely and alive it has a very good acidity that keeps the wine very enjoyable very easy you want to enjoy it a little bit chilled and uh, is a, a wine for, for every occasion you are on a swimming pool with some fresh fruit and some cheese perfect your friends coming over you want an aperitif perfect you want to mix it and do a moscato martini which is my creation i call it moscatini you do one part of vodka and one part of moscato you're ready to go put the vodka in your shaker shake it hard strain it and top it up with moscato Bosio. the moscato will bring all the aromas and the vodka will boost it up it's gonna be so love so phenomenal very very refreshing moscatini don't forget but the best way to enjoy it is by itself with your friend as as i usually